we are going to look at a question that has to do with the gradient of a line which is perpendicular to the line of another equation now these are two lines these are two lines and when you are solving questions like this you need to know the formulas and the principles now before we dive into solving this question i want you to know two things that if you have a line l1 and that line has x1 and what y1 as its coordinates and i have a line l2 and it has x2 and y2 as its coordinate these are two different lines and these two different lines will definitely have their different equations like this which is a question of a what of a straight line with their gradient so if we say this gradient have m1 and this line also have its gradient as m2 now take note of something and this is very important if this two line is parallel to each other if these two line is parallel to each other then their gradient m1 will be equal to what m2 that is a law in geometry now if these two lines are perpendicular to one another let's say two lines are perpendicular this goes here and we have our l1 why this is our line l2 they are perpendicular to each other but if they are parallel it means this line is running here and this other one will have our l1 and will have our what l2 they are parallel to each other or it can be the other way around now if they are perpendicular to each other then the multiplication of the gradient the first gradient times the second gradient will be equal to what minus what one now take note of this point because under these principles any question like this lies now why do i have to go about explaining all this now i have to go about explaining all this because this is exactly what we are going to apply in solving this question now the question says you should find the gradient of a line which is perpendicular to the line with equation this now we are given another line and that line is line 2 let's say we are asked to look for the gradient of line 1 we don't know these values for line 1 we don't know the coordinate and we don't know the gradient the gradient is what we are looking for but then we are given the equation of the second line line 2 and we are told that the equation of the second line is 3x plus what 2y plus what 1 equal to what 0 now we want to arrange this equation very well so that we can get a similar equation like this so that we can be able to remove find the gradient get out the gradient from this equation now when we rearrange this we are going to have uh, 2y to be equal to what uh, 2y to be equal to this goes over here to give you what minus 3x and this goes over here to give you minus what 1 we divide both sides by 2 and that will give us our y equal to minus 3 over 2x minus 1 over what 2 so if you compare this equation with this equation you come to see that for our line 2 this will be 2 for our line 2 the gradient m2 is equal to minus 3 over what 2 that's what we need now remember from the equation they told you that the line 1 is perpendicular to the line with this equation so that means our line 1 is perpendicular to our what to our line what 2 and we are going to use this guy here to solve it so if the line is perpendicular to each other that means the gradient of 1 multiplied by the gradient of 2 is equal to minus 1 with that we can be able to find the gradient of of the first line now let's implement that here we have our m1 multiplied by what minus 3 over what 2 equal to what minus 1 
So this will now give us what? Our M1 multiplied by what? Minus 3 over what? 2 equal to minus what? 1. When we cross multiply, we're going to have our M times what? Minus 3 equal to what? 2 times what? Minus 1. So this will give us minus 3 what? M1 equal to what minus what minus two so with all these we can come to see now that our m1 we can come to see now that our m1 if we divide both sides by minus three our m1 will be equal to minus two over what minus what three minus will cost minus then our m1 will be equal to two over what three now you see that with these derivatives we have been able to find the gradient of the first line now if you are given the gradient of the first line and you want to know what the coordinate of that line is you can go ahead to sort that so you see coordinate geometry can be very very easy if you can follow these steps we are producing for you i look forward to producing a full blown video on coordinate geometry where i will be able to break out these rules and these points for you so that once you can pick up these points you can use it to solve questions on coordinate geometry i know you enjoy watching this and you've learned a lot from this episode of our video if you have done that i want you to comment on this video and if you have any difficult question giving you stress just type them on the comment section of this video and we will be able to get a solution or give you ideas on how to go about the solution I remain Andy, your anchor on this channel, New Track Mathematics. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, I want you to hit that subscribe button so that you can get subsequent tutorials from this channel. I look forward to seeing you watching our next video. Thanks for watching.